I took a liking to it at a very young age and you know it's it's been good to me so far and, and I'm, I'm excited to be able to you know have baseball to allow me to experience things like this and you know see all you guys and um yeah I've been I've been blessed it's awesome that's awesome um what moment were you most proud of in your professional career so far oh man uh you know there's a lot of them I think it's tough to put 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 it put you know my nose on one but I think you know this past year clinching playoffs in Reading was was a great experience to be able to do it in front of all you guys and uh you know obviously Reading has some of the best fans in minor league baseball if not the best so I think being able to have uh have a chance to experience that with you know the rest of the fightings was was definitely special for me and uh you know something I'll never forget yeah for sure it was very special um this one comes from uh, Laura Boyer. She says, how do you stay focused knowing you are real close to being called up with the Phillies? It's tough. It's tough. I think, you know, like any other, you know, young player, any other player, when they're getting close to their, their dream, it's, you know, it's definitely easy to stop, you know, just kind of get distracted and, and kind of, you know, stay, you just try to try to stay the course. And I think for me, it's just enjoying, you know, playing baseball and, uh, you know, going out there each and every day and just trying to win. And, you know, whether I'm in Reading, Lehigh, Philly, you know, wherever it may be, I think uh, it all comes down to that. And also, you know, having fun. Do you ever get nervous before a game? I, you know, I think, I think, yeah, I'd say so. I think nerves are good. You know, when you're playing 140, um, you know, it tends to, to become repetitive and, and you kind of got to go out there and, and handle your business. But I'd say, you know, the first – Opening day, for sure. First game of playoffs, big games like that. But once, you know, once that, that first pitch is thrown, you kind of – the nerves settle down and, you you know, you relax and you can go out there and have fun. Do you have, a, like, a best friend on the team? I mean, I love – every single guy I've played with, I love to death. But, you know, I, last year I, I lived with, you know, Luke Williams and Josh Steven. And, they're you know, they're both 45 minutes up the road from me here, so – I've uh, been pretty close with them the past four or five years since we got drafted and, and Josh even before that in high school. So, and then obviously spending almost every single day together for, you know, eight months during the season in Reading was, was definitely something that brought us closer. Yeah, you get real close when you're with them every day. Uh, let's see, this one's from Dawson Downs. Uh, have you ever had to dive to catch a ball? And if so, is it hard to do? Oh, yeah, I've had to dive plenty of times. And, you know, you don't always come up with it. So I'd say, I'd say it's definitely something tough, definitely something that, you know, you got to work on just like everything in baseball, you know, you got to practice it over and over and over to be able to, you know, feel comfortable doing it in the game. And, uh, but no, when you do dive and you do make that play, it's, it's a great feeling for sure. All right. This one's from our buddy, J.R. Palmer. He wants to know if you have any broken bats that you aren't going to use that he could have. <laughs> I, uh, I, unfortunately give away all those broken bats during the season. So I don't have any on me now. You know, it's been tough to, to have a broken bat when there's no baseball. So maybe the next time you're in Reading. Next time in Reading, for sure. I'll, uh, I'll give you a non-broken one. There we go. Um, all right. I got one more question for you. Um, what advice would you give young players and, you know, us here in the dream league um, just for playing and getting out on the field? Yeah, I think, the best advice I can give, you know, any young player and you guys especially is, you know, you got to have fun. Baseball, you know, has brought a lot of happiness into my life. And I think, you know, when you're, you're on the diamond and, and you're on that field, it's, you know, it's kind of like an escape. You can kind of go out there and just focus on one thing and that's playing baseball and baseball is a fun game. And, um, you know, if you, if you can allow yourself to do that every day, I think you'll, you'll, you'll end up in a pretty good place. Awesome, Mick. Well, we really appreciate you uh, hopping on here. Um, it was nice to see you and catch up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Miss all you guys. Bummer, we you know we couldn't be out there on the field and Reading, but uh, you know it's good to see all your faces 